Good morning traders and this is your Aussie South African top 40 day trade setup for today. So we're bouncing again off the 200 EMA okay and you can see if I look left look at all the price action around the 200 EMA uh, last month and we're kind of in that same zone again. Now big thing is I see 10 cents is down two and a half percent at the moment so uh, that more likely going to impact us uh, to the downside. Uh, but I think the buyers are going to step in uh, as soon as the dust settles on the open. So that's kind of um, the view that I, that I have right now. So at the moment, a flat bottom triangle forming. Okay, but we're definitely going to get some form of a gap. Um, trend is down on the three hour. You can see we've broken through. We are testing the alligator. Alligator is pointing down. So, to be honest with you, I think uh, short it is. This is obviously quite a big level. And uh, if you look to the left, you can see the interaction we've had over the, quite a few weeks. One, two, three, and now this is uh, five. This is the sixth week. And uh, we only really missed it one week. But you know, five weeks out of six that we've been flirting with this level of 50.062. Okay, let's just round off to 50,000. Okay. So I think, to be honest with you, I think we are going to see sort of a gap down today. And the question is whether we're going to run. We probably will be. So to me, the Aussie is really a scalp at the moment. So gap down, wait for any sort of pullback and then follow it down. If there's no pullback, wait for a level to be tagged and then look for the long. Okay. So... And I think today is going to be one of those days where you're not, not going to be able to chase this. The gap is going to be significant. And uh, it'll be foolish to try and chase the gap. Okay. So, yeah. So I think that's pretty much, you know, for me, it, it's probably going to be wait, uh, stay out of it. Uh, uh, there's not much on, on the decks or the, the down at the moment this morning. So it could just be one of those days where we need to wait for dust, the dust to settle. And uh, we'll wait for some politicians to actually come up with a meaningful message and then look for the trade. Uh, so I really think we're going to get a, a pretty deep gap down and I don't see any levels apart from that, I suppose. Yeah, so levels to the downside are 49,500 and uh, 49,100. And probably 4,900 straight as well. Those are levels to the downside. Uh, I suppose what we could do is we could say there's a measured move here. But no, I'm not comfortable with this measured move at the moment. And the other one would be sort of the heights of this consolidation, which brings us down to the bottom here. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm expecting to happen today is a uh, gap down and more than likely a gap below or onto this level. How far is that? 346 points. Yeah, so a gap onto this area or below this level, then maybe a bit of consolidation. And then if we start rolling again, it's probably worthwhile the short, just keep a, a pretty tight stop. And then you're looking for uh, 49,503. Um, if we break this fractal here to the upside, so let's say um, the 10 cent doesn't impact us and it's down to 2.6% now. Uh, if we get this break of 5545 to the upside, then obviously, you know, we've got. At a turning point because this move to the downside is off for 61.8. So this level here is off for 61.8 of the previous move. So this previous move to the upside, this is 61.8 that we're bouncing off now. So a break above this fractal, even on the three hour breaks through the alligator, the teeth. But obviously, I need a, a close on a higher time frame above that level. Okay. So those are the two scenarios at the moment. Um, but I'm of the opinion we're probably going to get a pretty hefty move to the downside, uh, just based on 10 cent. 
Okay, because that can affect uh, mass baths. And it's obviously something to do with their results because their results came out yesterday. So haven't read the news yet, but uh, that's more than likely what the case is. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. If we just look at the Ichimoku, let's tidy this up so we can see what's going on. So we had a big move down. You can see I've often talking about this um, this rounding here. Okay, it's almost like a bow saw. You've got the blade there, and this is the arm of the bow saw. But um, happened. We are now just through the cloud again. But Kijun Tigan in flat, cloud flat. Uh, so these are like two bullish signals out of three. Not really enough. However, the half hour is touching the top of the cloud. Lots of resistance above the cloud, and bearish signals, bearish, bearish. So this isn't. This should be an area where you'd be looking for shorts last night, anyway. Um, not that I do that over, overnight, especially not with the Aussie. And we've bearish here, lots of resistance to the upside, bullish with the Chiku span. So mixed bag here. So again, what you're looking for is fractals. And on the hour, those are the only two fractals that you have there. So, and this fractal here, I would be very cautious for break of. 55.45 because of the cloud. Okay, I would rather be looking for a break of 50,000. And looking at the four hour, this is bearish. We've tested the cloud, and I think we're going to break through this cloud now. Okay, so you can see why I'm always, when I say when you're trading Ichimoku and you're in the cloud, you need to be cautious because that is a signal of support or resistance to the left. The daily, however, is still bullish. But the daily cloud here is very thin, so this resistance is very thin. However, we do have what could be diversions brewing. It'll probably be another day or two. But um, now whatever pullback happens, I think, is a decent place to be buying. But yeah, I think today it's um, probably more of this chaos. I mean, if you just look at the daily here, you can see the absolute chaos in price action at the moment. Okay, so for me, it's um, it's short trading off the more than likely the 12 minute today, and you can see I do have a another fractal here. So let me just come back to the billy because that's the one that we're going to be driving today. So fractal to the upside and fractal to the downside is there. So 51.92 is the fractal to the downside. The break, the major level we need to watch is pretty much 50,000. So if we get through 50,000 and we get a decent close below it on a 12 or half, now preferably half hour, half hour, one hour bar, that's going to trigger a bigger move to the downside. Okay, so well, that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, watch for the gap, wait for the first half hour of trading, then you'll probably see a sharp move down and then depends what Europe does. If Europe starts consolidating and starts uh, Moving up, you'll probably find the Aussie may follow through later in the day. Okay, but I think short is the first call for the morning. Okay, draw those levels in, keep those levels tight, and keep stop lots tight because uh, this is an extremely volatile instrument at the moment. Anyway, hope it helps, and I will catch you later. Enjoy the day.